Hey guys. Uh, I'll just start off. Obviously, you guys uh, didn't see Anthony out there practicing today. He had a little procedure done on his nose uh, just so he could breathe better. We had to get it done. Um, and yesterday was the off day, so we got it done. And, and he should be back tomorrow. And if he's not, he'll be back the next day. It's nothing serious. Was, it, was that, that pre existing? Yeah, it was just something, yeah, just something he had to get done in there. Yeah. You have to hold him back a little bit on days like this. It looked like he was still trying to do his. Most. Yeah, no doubt. He he was definitely uh, in tune out there in practice and going through his reads in the back. So uh, it's not a big concern at all. He should, like I said, should be out there tomorrow. At worst case scenario, he'll be out there the next day. Shane, any thought to doing it before camp started, or did it develop more? Yeah, no. We just just we, just so we could breed better. We just said shoot. Let's. So we didn't want him to come in and like not start camp. You know what I mean? So let's let him get through the camp and do it on the off day. Yep. It looks like you guys did a little huddle up before practice started. I, I can't remember you guys doing that previously. Was there anything to that? Uh, no, just, you know, we had the off day and we're coming back in. This is the first thing together, you know what I mean? We got the pads on and just trying to set the tone. Shane, like, when, it's, when you've had guys that are hurt, Prince, um, Mallory, whatever, you said, yeah, he's got, a, he's got an anchor. He's got yeah, yeah, yeah. What does Jonathan Taylor have? What's that? What does Taylor have? He's just dealing with something right now, and I'm going to refrain from getting into all that. Yep. Shane, with, again, we've asked you about the running backs, but him out of the picture until he is in mm -hmm. the picture, what do you like about the group? I like the group as a whole. It's a solid group, smart young guys in there uh, that, you know, have played some football. Obviously, Zach's played some good football in this league, and then Evan's a young guy, and Funk, and, and Dion, and they've all played. So excited about the group as a whole. Yeah, what exactly. thing was Zach today, his wrist apparently? He has a little arm. I don't know the details. I'll get that to you guys later. What did Evan show you today? It was good, you know, to get him in there and, you know, out of the backfield. He ran some good routes out of the backfield. Uh, <laughs> you know, we got some matchups, and uh, he did a nice job, and he's seen the holes well. Shane, what have you seen from Daryl Baker? He seemed to have a couple nice plays. Yeah, no, Daryl's got really good speed, you know, and he's got good cover skills, excited where he's at, and with all these guys, not only Daryl, but everyone, we just got to keep improving every single day and getting better. What do you like about the physicality that the linebackers brought? Yeah, no, it was great. Obviously, those guys, the veterans in there with Shaq and Zaire, you know, and EJ and stuff, and then the other guys behind them. I, I, I like that. You know, they're, the pop, the pads were popping today. I like the intensity at practice, and we got to continue doing it, you know, because when training camps, camp gets going and going and going, and, you know, days get longer and longer, we got to maintain that level of energy every day. Shane, I mean, you're not oblivious. There have been some maybe distractions, but how have you managed that? You know, I know you're, you're about focused. Yeah, no doubt. It, it, my, my biggest thing is, shoot, I'm, I'm here to coach a football team. That's my job as a head football coach, to coach this football team and, and go from there. And I got to be on it every single day. And I got to be on it on the practice field. I got to be on it on the meeting rooms because I expect these guys prepare, be prepared. And if I'm not prepared, how do I expect the team to be prepared? So that's my mindset right now. And that's where I'm at. Is Jelani dealing with something today? Yeah, he's got a little, I think he got a little hamstring. I got to get more details on it. What yeah. About, what about uh, uh, a whip? Whip, yeah, he got a little hip. He had a little hip in practice the other day, and, and he's getting back. He, he should be back. Good to get Mallory out there. I mean, yeah, great. He, he's missed so much time. Yeah, yeah, getting him off uh, PUP and getting him out there and getting some reps, and obviously the individual reps, it's been good. It's good to see him out there. It looked like Shaq didn't do any team stuff Yeah. Today. Is that part of the plan? Yeah, it is. It's part of the plan. We're just we're slowly progressing him back in there. Um, but, gosh, he's, he's, he's looked great, and uh, we just want to do it the right way and so, be smart with him. There was some physicality today. Yeah. Well, I mean, what what does that tell you on the first day of pads? Yeah, no, it's freaking great. I mean, when you, when you get out there and, you know, you got the pads on, I want to see that. And I think the guys expect that. I mean, you play football with pads on. And so it's the first day of pads and to see the physicality and the way the guys brought the energy, you know, first thing in the morning, you know, we didn't have anything this morning. We came right out here and, and practiced. They did a little weight lift, you know, they lifted before we came out here to get their bodies ready. And we came out here ready to go. What Same adjustments thing? have been made in the running back room with a star like Jonathan Taylor not there practicing? Yeah, I mean, those guys, we have those conversations throughout, and we're just rotating those guys. That's really where it's at. It's still early in camp, and we're going to see all those guys and get reps throughout camp and see where everyone's at. Nick Cross is getting an opportunity with Julian out. Uh, this was a big summer for him. What have you guys seen in the class? Yeah, Nick Cross is good. Obviously, he's been in the system, second year in the system, and just, you know, he's, he's in the right spots. You know, you want to you make sure guys are knowing what they're doing, and I, I like where he's at, and he's continuing to improve, and we got to keep that going. It's not, things have changed over the years. Like, teams don't just use one back anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, are you a guy that, that likes to really get guys involved in different types of backs? Yeah, I mean, I think my philosophy is, you know, if you got a stable of backs and you got multiple guys that can do things back there, I think you you ride with the hot hand, you know. And I think uh, there's everyone's good players, you know what I mean. But if someone's rolling a little bit, you, you let them go a little bit. And I think that's how the rotation, you know, you know, will go throughout camp. Is that, is that the approach that you all had in Philadelphia with Jalen Hurts, just kind of helping him develop it all? Summer? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, obviously we had Miles was our starter there in Philly, and then Kenny Gainwell was coming on, and you know those guys with repetitions and playing more and seeing more and getting more confidence, you know. And, and like I said, whoever's got the hot hand rolls. Shane, as you guys plan, are you expecting JT to play this year for you? 
Yeah, right now he's on this football team. He's on this football team, and when the medical staff clears him, he should be out here. Can you, can you describe why uh, attention to detail is so important as camp ramps up? Yeah, I mean, because when camp ramps up and you start going a little bit more, right, guys are going to get a little tired, right? Because when you see the most mental errors is when guys get tired. So, like, throughout this week, right, we'll ramp up practice tomorrow. We'll go to an hour 30, and then when we get to Thursday, we'll be an hour 45. So, I'm, and we're starting low and we're going high. But all those things, like the details of everything in this league, this game is all about detail. So, we got to be on it with every detail. It starts with us as coaches, and the players got to got to get it done on the field. Any, any all right, thoughts, last one here. Any thoughts bringing a third QB or just let Garner and Sam handle it all until? Oh, he, like I said, hopefully he's back tomorrow and there should be no issues. So, yeah.